And there you can see Apple stock right now at $571 down, almost 5%. And I don't know where you were yesterday, folks, when the news broke, the shocking news that Apple, uh, their earnings were up only about 20%, weren't up as much as the street expected. This is, you know, in terms of, of, of you know, it's one of the worst things that could ever happen in the world, right? No, of course it isn't. Of course it isn't. It is merely a good quarter for Apple, not a great one. The street freaked out, though. Should they, though? Jack House, Smart Money, has a column about it. Apple didn't miss anything, right? Wall, right. Wall Street missed on its forecast for Apple. So, you know, if anything, we should be poo-pooing Wall Street now, But the thing Apple. there is, I mean, Wall Street, quarter after quarter after quarter after quarter, Wall Street has undershot. What Apple has actually yeah, ended up reporting. Little, they do this little dance where right. you know companies give conservative guidance. Wall Street comes out uh, ahead of that, but not too far ahead because they want the actual number to beat their number. Yes. Blah, uh, blah, it's blah. It's only the second quarter, I think the last 39 or some crazy number that Apple has actually missed estimates. And that's what's got the street Look, in a tizzy. When you come out with new iPhones once a year and you have people lining up around the block to buy your phones, you have a lumpy business from an earnings standpoint, right? You're going to make more money in some quarters than other quarters. And you can smooth that out by having product launches in different parts of the year, but I don't think this is anything to, to get too concerned about with Apple. I mean, there are people sort of waiting. They see, they know, they sense that there's an iPhone coming in the fall. They want to hold out for that new model. And, and uh, you know, if there's a miss this quarter, it could lead to, to an Apple performance. Now, and let's keep in mind, by the way, that Apple gave guidance for this quarter when it reported earnings last quarter. Mm -hmm. It beat its own guidance. So it's ahead of the game in terms of what it signaled to everybody. It's just a Wall Street guessed wrong. Right. Now, and, of course, you, know, you talk about earnings being a little lumpy. I mean... They might be a little lumpy, but they're lumpy way up here. I mean, they make a ton of money yeah. every single quarter. And you can see there's a, a little recap of the second quarter. I mean, they sold a ton of iPhones to the iPads, 17 yeah. million iPads. That's pretty impressive. Most companies are struggling to grow revenues right now, right? right? They've grown their profits by canning people or, or yes. cutting costs the other way. But here's a company that's growing revenues by 23% yeah. year over year. Let's not shed a tear for them, you know. And, and and I took a look, you know, in this comment I wrote, I took a look. If, if you want to compare Apple on valuation to see where you stand, I made a comparison with General Mills, the breakfast cereal company. I know that's not a natural comparison, but the purpose of it was, what are you paying for a company whose earnings are, you know, pretty stable, pretty stable where you don't get right. any big surprises quarter after quarter versus a, a company where you have lumpy profits like Apple. And, you know, you're paying 15 times trailing earnings for General Mills, and that's a company that'll be lucky to achieve single-digit, mid-single-digit mm -hmm. revenue growth. You can pay 13, 13 and a half times earnings for Apple, a company with you know over 20 percent revenue right. growth. And Apple has a mountain of cash, and, and, and General Mills has debt, and Apple has a mountain but, of cash. So. But here's the thing about yeah. Apple: Apple has become a, a pretty big momentum play. A lot of people are in it just for the pop, just for the real. You know, the, the growth isn't the real issue. It is this sort of, you know, it's a hot stock. It's a, and they know that Apple plays the earnings game. They missed all that this quarter. I mean, is there anything significant in that? I, you know, I, I you I, can answer honestly. I think you what you no. look at, if you're an, if you're a, if you're a short-term trader, yeah. I don't know what you want. You want whatever the popular flavor of the day is. Yeah. But if you're a long-term investor, you want one thing. You want a company that sells. At, a, at an attractive price relative to its prosperity. You want some kind of discount to, to what you should pay for a company relative to the money it makes. When I look at Apple, even though it's the biggest company in America, it trades at a very reasonable price relative to the money it makes. A mountain of cash, a dividend is starting now. Um, I don't think that you know people who are in this stock for the long term ha have anything to worry about. Yeah, right? yeah. They should be more worried if you see some sort of you know, sharp turnaround in sales trends where the company is losing share, market share on, on some of its right. products. I, I don't really see yeah, much I sign of that, that at this that point. I think that 5% drop this morning is just some speculative money being chased out. Yeah, I don't really think there's anything to worry about. Yeah. All right, Jack House, Smart Money, thank you very much. Thank you.